While millions of people in the United States were sitting down for a Thanksgiving dinner, President Donald Trump was traveling. He made a surprise visit to the U.S. to meet the troops in Afghanistan. The level of secrecy around this visit has become a subject of discussion worldwide. Why was Trump's Afghanistan visit kept a secret? And is this the first time that an American president is making surprise Thanksgiving visits to troops overseas? This report has the answers. It's 8.33 p.m. local time. The Air Force lands in Afghanistan's Bagram airfield. No one knows who the occupants are. The plane's window shades are drawn, its interior lights switched off. A couple of minutes later, Trump disembarks the aircraft. Bagram is the largest U.S. base in Afghanistan. And this is Thanksgiving evening. You having a good time, everybody? The U.S. president is here to meet his troops. We love them. We love them. We say happy Thanksgiving. In the next three hours, Trump met Afghan president Ashraf Ghani. He served Turkey to U.S. troops. He also sat down with them for Thanksgiving dinner and had a little chit-chat with some photo sessions. The U.S. president also had some good news for the troops. The Taliban wants to make a deal. We'll see if they want to make a deal. It's got to be a real deal, but we'll see. But they want to make a deal. And they only want to make a deal because you're doing a great job. That's the only reason they want to make a deal. For a change, Trump made no mention of the troubles he was facing back home. For a change, Trump's speech was all about gratitude. Did the troops know that the president was visiting? No. Did the press know? No. It was a surprise. Trump's Thanksgiving visit was shrouded in secrecy. The president, who also happens to be the United States Commander-in-Chief, was visiting the heart of America's longest war. There are protocols around such visits and everything was followed to the T. The president secretly escaped Mar-a-Lago on Wednesday night. Reporters were handpicked to join the president on board the Air Force One. They did not know where the aircraft was headed until two hours before landing in Afghanistan. Everyone on board the plane was stripped of all electronic devices. Even the president did not have his cell phone on him. Trump's staff had scheduled tweets from the president's Twitter handle so that the world wouldn't get suspicious of his absence during the 13-hour long flight. Everything around the visit looked straight out of a TV drama. All of this was done to ensure that the president's safety is not compromised. And this is by no means a first. US presidents have a history of visiting troops overseas on Thanksgiving Day. In 1990, George H. W. Bush celebrated Thanksgiving with troops in Saudi Arabia. In 1999, Bill and Chelsea Clinton joined troops in Kosovo for a pre-Thanksgiving dinner. In 2003, George W. Bush spent Thanksgiving Day with American troops in Baghdad. During all of these visits, the elements of secrecy and surprise were kept intact. Bureau Report, World is One. Thanksgiving, but also thank you very much. Great job. Thank you very much.